hi welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please can kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video recently somebody someone asked me on how to design a backdrop banner so today i'm going to show you how to design a simple backdrop banner we have different types depend on the one your client asks you to design it may be a big exhibition so though we have different ones it depends so now i'm going to show you how you can design a backdrop banner so new then you use puzzle so after selecting puzzle then you're going to enter 2142 as your weight then and the height you are going to use is 2112 so then you click on grid so now i have it here then already i have put in place what i'm going to use in the in this tutorial so here it is then i but what i'm going to show you now is how to design this 10 and fast three. so now to design the 10 anniversary select your test tool then i will use bold italic then type one then increase it like this So after increasing it like this, then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, then I will drag it to the right, then select my test tool again, alight it, then you press 0. Now I have something like this. Okay, then I will draw it and drag it closer to one like this. Then these two here, I'm going to duplicate it, drag it here now that i duplicate it then i'm going to turn this one off turn the second one off then i will rasterize this one then also rasterize the zero now hold your control key then you click on this zero then go to select modify expand i'm going to expand it by eight then you click ok select your eraser tool then come back to one number one and select your number one then then you clean it like this ctrl d to the select now i have a space line over there okay then i'm going to select the two then and merge it together Make the layer now i'm going to select my pen tool then remove the color the fill color now i'm going to drag it this way like this so hold your alt key then you click on this dot here then like this now that i have it like this then i'm going to drop my tool rasterize it now that i have rasterized it then i'm going to this number 10 then hold your control key and click on this one now select your eraser tool again then you clean you clean it up like this now ctrl d to deselect then turn it the shape off then you see how it come out all right then again i'm going to select the same pen tool again p on your keyboard for pen tool now i will click here then click somewhere here then i'll drag it like this 
then hold my alt key then i click here then escape key so all right then click on your test tool then you come here you will see the sign that will change here you will see this sign when you come to this place you see a sign that will change here then you click so when you click then now you cannot type anniversary then drop your tool then move it a little bit and to arrange it well then you can rotate it you can rotate it the way you want it all right so something like this this is how you can design or place a test like this all right so now i'm going to select all this one then group it i will hide it yeah then i'm going to this place to bring out the one i design to here okay what i will do i'm going to do is that here i'm going to make this one big here i'll make this one big here or you can position it at the center here like this then you duplicate this one again ctrl j now i'll take this one here then reduce the size maybe something like this okay something like this is okay then i'm going to draw a rent angle maybe like this then maybe i will apply a color like this then i will drag it to the right like this then i'm going to duplicate this one again ctrl j then i'll take this one up all right then bring it to the center of it like this click ok Then what I will do now, I'm going to change this color to white. Then the image here, I will rasterize it. Then go to my magic tool. Then I will now click something like this then you select your pocket tool then here is white color then i'm going to apply the white around the black area or the selected area so ctrl d to deselect now i have something like this okay now what i'm going to do now 
I will select this one and this one then group it together Control G okay now that I have it like this then what I'll do again is to Control J to duplicate it then I can now move it like this okay then duplicate it again remove it this way duplicate it again then you move it around here duplicate it again Then you move it here. Now I'm going to select one I'm going to select one, the which is this one, then control J. Then I'll drag it here. I believe the two can enter Ctrl J. I'll duplicate this one again. Then I'll drag this one over to this place. I'm going to duplicate this one. Then place it here. All right. Then having it this way, okay. Now duplicate the two. Duplicate it again. So this is how you will continue. I'm going to fast forward it because of time. So now this is what we have. As we have this way, now I will group all of them. I will group all of them together like this.
so this is how to design a backdrop banner thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share